Good morning. Uh, today presentation is about mental illnesses. And mental illness involves a variety of uh, problems that cannot be uh, mentioned in one presentation. However, we'll try today to discuss some of the common problems that we see in our day-to-day -day life as physician. Now, mental illnesses has usually begins around the teens or in the 20s, 30s. It might happen at any age. More women than men are diagnosed with depression, maybe because they consult the doctors early. There are factors that involve that are involved in the risk of developing or treating mental illness. And that includes certain person, personality traits, such as low self-esteem, being too dependent, self-critical, pessimistic, uh, traumatic or stressful events, such as physical and sexual abuse, the death of loved one, or difficult relationship, financial problems. Blood relatives with history of mental disorder like bipolar, depression, alcoholism, or suicide increase the likelihood of developing mental disorder. Being lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender, uh, or having var variation in the development of the genital organ that are n not clearly a male or female, it also increases the risk of um, mental disorder. History of other mental disorder like anxiety, eating disorder, post-traumatic disorder, alcohol abuse, recreational drug, serious chronic illnesses like cancer, stroke, chronic pain, heart disease. Certain medication can be involved in this. The main cause is difficult to say, but there are certain theories, uh, and that is biological differences. People with depression, with the mental uh, illness, appears to have physical changes in their brain. The significance of these changes is still uncertain, but may eventually pinpoint and help the causes. Brain chemistry, neurotransmitter theory, naturally occurring uh, brain chemicals likely to play a role in mental disorder. Recent research indicate that changes in the function and effect of this neurotransmitter and how they interact with the neurocircuit involved in maintaining mood stability may play a, a significant role in mental disorder treatment. Hormones Changes in the body balance of hormone may be involved in causing or triggering mental illness. Hormonal changes can result with the pregnancy during weeks or months after the pregnancy, after delivery, like postpartum uh, depression or from thyroid problem, menopause, a number of other conditions. Also, there is an inherited trait. Mental disorder is more common in people whose blood relatives have this condition. Researchers are trying to find gender genes that may be involved in causing depression. There are different types of mental illnesses, anxiety disorder, behavioral emotional disorder, bipolar affective disorder, depression, dissociation and dissociative disorder, eating disorder, obsessive compulsive, paranoia, post-traumatic stress disorder, psychosis, and schizophrenia. Obsessive compulsive disorder. Uh, the obsessive compulsive is um, excessive thoughts that lead to repetitive behavior characterized by unreasonable behavior and thoughts and fears that leads to compulsive behavior. No one exactly know why this happens. Genetics, brain abnormality, and the environment are thought to play role. Uh, patient experience, uh, unrealistic fear, and extreme anxiety, depressive, eating disorder, uh, substance abuse disorder. Uh, they, are, they have a strong fear and worries, and this often causes a great anxiety. Reasoning does not help to control the obsession. The common obsession is a strong fixation with dirt or germ. 
repeated doubts, example about having turn, turned off the stove, a need to have things in a very specific way, thoughts about violence and hurting someone, spending long period of time touching things or counting, fixation with order or symmetry, persistent thoughts of awful sexual act, troubles by thought that are against personal or personal religious belief. As you can see in this comic drawing, the patient is certain that if she sleeps, she's not going to wake up. Uh, that's why she avoid sleepover because she cannot wake up and make about make excuses about about it. In the other picture, the patient is repeatedly brushing her teeth for at least two minutes, worrying that she might have a problem. In this slide, as you can tell, the patient uh, tried the thing 40 times a day. And her parents are very upset about this. In the other slide, the patient cannot touch and cannot touch that. And this is something else that is especially not that. Next, we're going to talk about depression. It's a common condition that negatively affects how you think, act, or behave. It's a mood disorder that causes persistent feeling of sadness and loss of interest. It is also called <coughs> major depressive disorder or clinical depression. It affects how you feel, how you think, how you behave, which can lead to a variety of emotional and physical problems. Having troubles to do day-to-day -day normal activities, and sometimes you may feel as if life is not worth living. More than just about uh, the blues, depression isn't a weakness, and you cannot simply snap out of it. Depression may require long-term treatment, but do not get discouraged. Most people with depression can feel better with the treatment and physical uh, and psycho psychotherapy. The symptoms that comes with the depression a feeling of sadness, tearfulness, emptiness, hopelessness, angry outbursts, irritability, frustration, even over small matters, loss of interest or pleasure in most, or no, most of normal activity like sex, hobbies, and sport, sleep disturbances including insomnia and sleeping too much, what is called hypersomnia, uh, tiredness, lack of energy, even small tasks take extra effort. Reduced appetite or increased appetite. It works either way, either excessive weight loss or obesity. Anxiety, restlessness, agitation. Slowed thinking, speaking, and body movement. Feeling worthlessness or guilt, fixation on past failure or self-blame. Trouble thinking, uh, concentrating, making decisions, and remembering things. Frequent recurrent thoughts of death, suicidal thoughts, suicidal attempt, or suicide. Unexplained physical problems such as back pain or headache. For many people with depression, symptoms usually are severe enough to cause not noticeable problem in day-to-day -day activity, such as work, school, social activity, relation with others. Some people may have generally miserable or may feel generally miserable or unhappy without really knowing why. As you can tell from this slide that this patient is suffering of depression. In this slide, patients are admitting to, have, to having uh, a problem and the patient here cannot know why this is happening to. Um, look at the slide, it, it is discuss, discussive of many um, presentation of depression. Anxiety is an emotion characterized by feeling of tension, worried thoughts, physical changes like increased blood pressure. People with anxiety disorder usually have recurring intrusive thoughts or concern. They may avoid certain situation out of worry. 
They may also have physical symptoms such as swelling, sweating, trembling, dizziness, rapid heartbeat. Anxiety is not the same as fear, but they are often associated, used interchangeably. Anxiety is considered a future-oriented, long-acting response broadly focused on diffuse threat, whereas fear is an appropriate present-oriented, short-lived response to a clearly identifying and identifiable and a specific reason. As you can see here from this slide, uh, the patient is not quite sure about what she wants, unwilling to do anything. Here in this slide, we see the anxiety, uh, the guy uh, think his anxiety makes his heart pound and that's for it's a good uh, exercise, cardio exercise. Uh, questioning where there are mirror everywhere, um, unsure of himself, uh, being dramatic, um, uh, people advise to pull yourself together, when are you going to grow up, all these comments should be um, taken in consideration and should not be um, made purposefully to the patient and understanding where he comes from is very important. Behavioral emotional disorders in children. Emotional and behavioral disorder, it's a disability characterized by inability to build or maintain satisfactory interpersonal relationship with peers or teacher. For preschool uh, age children, this would include other care provider like attention, hyperactivity disorder, conduct disorder, oppositional defiant disorder, intermittent explosive disorder, obsessive compulsive, bipolar, and anxiety. Bipolar disorder, it is formerly called manic depressive illness or manic depression. It's a mental illness that causes an unusual shift in the person's mood, energy, activity level, and concentration. These shifts can make it difficult to carry out day-to-day -day task. There are three types of bipolar disorder. Uh, you can, in bipolar disorder, you can have a mood swing from extreme high to extreme low. Manic symptoms can occur with increased energy and excitement, impulsive behavior and agitation. Depressive symptoms can include lack of energy, feeling worthless, low self-esteem, and suicidal thoughts. As you can see from this slide, the patient have different views, different thoughts, different feelings throughout the day. Treatment. As you can see uh, from what I've been, I've gone through, uh, treatment does not does not involve medication only. It requires self recognition that the patient is going through these problems, and that hopefully does not lead to negativity toward physician and toward consult. Uh, as there is a lot of myths around the psychiatrist and psychiatric consultation, and then consult the physician at the right time. Consulting physician involves long history, physical examination, uh, lab test, as there are many conditions that, uh, medical condition that could lead to mental illness. And also after that, we need patient to be on certain medication depending on the problem that they have. In addition to that, we need to do psychotherapy, and psychotherapy is an extreme important part of the question. Um, as you can see from the slide, um, patients should not be um, told that it's all in your head, there's nothing wrong, um, uh, give the patient negativity about their anxiety, and that makes them feel more anxious. In this slide, the patient trying to encourage herself by saying, am I doing things right? Is everyone looking at me? 
One side is speaking of her worries and anxiety, and the other side is trying to put herself together. In therapy, each one needs a therapy depending on his um, exact cause. Although, as I said before, there is, these issues are not separated as single uh, item from each other. They usually are intermingled. And patient has to sit long session of physical, of, of psychotherapy and learn exercises to get over their problem and develop a positive attitude that medication and psychotherapy will help them in overcoming this hurdle. As you can tell from these comic pictures, there are many ways of improving and getting over the problem. As I said before, you will find some improvement or a lot of improvement visiting your psychiatrist, taking the medication regularly, cooperating in psychotherapy and cooperating in the exercises required. That um, sums up my presentation. Thank you. Mm.